Okay, so I'm going to go ahead on and pray a sin. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, just thanking you. Father, for these opportunities to share a word with your people. I ask that you would lead me and guide me as I speak on this message. And that you would encourage and build up and strengthen those who are listening. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Lamb of God. So today I want to talk about a, a little dream that the Lord brought me the other day to rebuke me because I was doing some things that the Lord had drawn me out of and um, I wasn't paying attention to the conviction of the Holy Spirit and um, actual, in actuality I was being a hypocrite and um because I wasn't listening to the conviction of the Holy Ghost, the Lord had to go to the extent to bring me a dream to get my attention. And what happened is the Lord years ago, when I first started walking with the Lord, drew me away from the television. He started to open my eyes uh, about the deception that was... Uh, being uh, brought through the television channels and he showed me how that the television is uh, an instrument of indoctrination where Satan indoctrinates the people of the world and brings them into uh, a type of illusion and how these different channels is how Satan channels spirits. This is why the television uh has different channels uh, a medium channels spirits and this is what this television is it's a medium and it channels different spirits and there's so much corruption in the television shows and when you sit before these television shows what it does is it plants these demonic seeds of corruption lust pride greed jealousy it begins to breed a spirit of rebellion within you when you sitting before these different channels these television shows there is something that is happening that is contrary to the will of God you are submitting to yourself that to something that is outside of the will of God and what's happening is it is beginning to produce a corruption of the spirit the Bible says in Galatians chapter 6 that if you sow to the flesh you will reap corruption, and if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap everlasting life. And as born-again Christians, we have to really come to this understanding that the whole world and the things of this world is in total opposition to the purposes of God in our lives. In 1 John it says, Do not love the world or the things of the world. If you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Everything in this world is satanically designed to work against the purposes of God. And if we don't have discernment in these times that we are moving into, we can easily become a casualty uh, of this end time scenario because Satan is making an all out assault against the minds of humanity and one of his um, his instruments of mass destruction is uh, the television uh, stations and what happens is people sit b before these television stations and it desensitizes them to the realities of sin it desensitizes them to um, the destructive, uh, the, the, the destruction that sin does in our lives. It, it kind of like brings us into a place where we become comfortable with it. With it. We, we become desensitized. We lose our discernment. There's a corruption that breathes within us. And what happens is we start to regress in our walk. This is why a lot of people are not making no progress in their walk with God. There's no anointing in their life. There's no fire in their life. There's no hunger for the things of God because what they doing is they are feasting upon the things of the world. And when you feast upon the things of the world, what happens is you start to lose your taste for the things of God. And Satan is using the television programs as an instrument of wickedness to work against the purposes of God 
in uh, the people's lives. And so many people are, are being brought into a place of defeat because they are sitting behind these television uh, shows and they watching them. And there's so much sin. There's so much lust. There's so much greed and jealousy. Different spirits are in these different channels. And this is what happens when you turn a channel, you are, are tuning in to, to different spirits. And these spirits are, are channeling through the television shows. And God teaches us in the Word of God that our eyes is the lamp to our body. It's the gateway to our souls. Not just our eyes, but our ears. What we set before our eyes and what we allow into our ears affects our spiritual life for the good or for the bad. Now, I want to read this scripture for us. It's in Luke chapter 11, and I'm going to start at verse 34, and uh, I believe... I'm going to go to verse 35. It says right here, The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. So we see this, this picture that, that Jesus gives us through the scriptures uh, about our eyes being a lamp to our bodies and what happens is what we allow to to set before our eyes will get inside of our hearts and it will either work for the good or for the bad this is why job said i make a covenant with my eyes that i set nothing evil before them this is why scripture says hate what is evil and cling to what is good abstain from all forms of evil and when you get on to these television stations, what it is, it's a bunch of sinners making sinful shows. It's nothing that is of God. There's no godliness in, in it. There's nothing in it that is profitable to your walk with God. And uh, in reality, it's unprofitable. It, it, it's vain. And what happens is when you sit before these television shows, it is destroying your discernment it is de desensitizing you to the realities of sin where you begin to accept it as the norm where it does not bother you anymore and what happens is you start to regress in your walk you start to slide back in your spiritual life you start to slowly regress in your walk with your lord and savior jesus christ because what happens is you beginning to feast upon the things of the world and you start to lose your taste for the things of God. The Bible says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled. And what happens is when you start to feed on the things of the world, you lose your hunger for the things of God. And when you lose your hunger for the things of God, you start to regress in your righteousness because you're spending more time feasting upon the things of the world. You catch yourself laughing at sinful jokes. You catch yourself uh, watching things that is abominable to, to, to our Lord and Savior Jesus th Christ. Things that are an abomination to God. We got many Christians that are sitting behind televisions and they watching these things and they don't realize what's happening is that you are regressing in your walk that it is working against the purposes of God in in your life that by you submitting yourself uh, to these television shows it is um it, it it is frustrating the grace of God and God's grace will begin to pull back from you you will begin to slowly regress in your walk and a lot of people are not discerning these things we got to realize that we are called to be holy and we can't put trash inside of us because if we put trash inside of us before you know it our spiritual lives are be are going to begin to stink our attitude are going is going to stink we're going to lose our faith we're going to have an attitude of doubt and fear and worry why because we we put in all this trash from the world inside of our spiritual lives by sitting before it and letting it get inside of our hearts. 
And we have to really be careful in these times that we are moving into because the things of the world can have sort of like a pull on the flesh if we are not careful. We have to bring our bodies into subjection. We have to discipline ourselves. We have to deny what the flesh wants so that we can grow in the spirit. Luke 9.23 says, Anyone who desires to come after me must first deny themselves daily and pick up their cross and follow me. So we must be in a place where we are willing to deny what our flesh wants to do because we know that if we do what our flesh wants to do, it will work against the purposes of God. And we have to make that choice, that decision to discipline ourselves because if we don't discipline our bodies and make it do what it wants to do, our bodies are going to discipline us. And we have to really come to this understanding that everything in the world is satanically designed to work against the purposes of God. 1 John 5.19 says, We are sons of God and the whole world lies uh, in the sway of of the wicked one. And that word sway means the governmental control. It's under the influence of the wicked one. Satan has uh, satanically uh, uh, engineered society to work against the purposes of God. And we as born again Christians have to use discernment in this hour to what we are setting before our eyes and allowing in uh, to our ears. Because what we set before our eyes and what we allow ourselves to listen to will affect our spiritual lives for the good or for the bad. So just a while back, I went visit some of my family members and the Lord brought me away from that TV uh, some years back. And I would never watch TV anymore when, when God started to give me revelation about it. And um, well, when I went visit my family I was drawn into watching some television shows and I felt the Holy Spirit on the inside uh, telling me that I shouldn't be watching it but I continued to watch it I watched it one day I watched it the next day and probably uh, uh, on the third day that night I went to sleep before I went to sleep I started to pray and I felt like I shouldn't have been watching that that I was doing something wrong and I started praying to the Lord and I was like Lord you know what do you want me to do what it is that you want me to do that I, I, I'm sensing in my heart and that night I had a dream and in my dream I was walking up to a TV and I grabbed it and I smashed it on the ground and when I woke up, I realized that the Lord said, stop watching TV. Stop watching uh, and putting that trash inside of your heart. The Lord was rebuking me because I was not listening to the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And because I was not listening to the conviction of the Holy Spirit, God had to go to the extent and reach out to me and rebuke me in a dream. And it was a loving rebuke. It was his mercy. And this is the mercy of God. God loves us. He wants us to be holy. He doesn't want us to separate from those things of the world to try to punish us. But it's for the well-being of our spiritual lives. God wants us pure. He wants us to live a life of purity. He doesn't want us to be filled with the trash of the world. 1 John 3.3 3 says, He who has this hope in him seeks to purify himself just as he is pure. So we are to live our lives here behind enemy lines, living here on earth, seeking a life of holiness and purity, chasing after a life of purity, being discerning of those things that we set before our eyes, being discerning of those things we allow ourselves to be entertained with. Because the very things that we allow ourselves to be entertained with sometimes could be the very things that are bringing all this frustration and warfare into our lives. Because when we set before these TVs, what they do is they set these demonic seeds inside of our hearts. So glory be to the Lamb of God. I just wanted to share this with y'all. And um, you know, be careful what y'all set before your eyes. We are living in, in a world that's dominated by uh, wickedness and rebellion. And we need to be careful what we set our eyes on. 
uh, but what we set before our eyes. We need to be careful what we listen to, the music that we listen to. Oh, I can go into a whole sermon on that, but that that I'm gonna save that for another time. But glory be to the Lamb of God. Um, y'all be blessed, and y'all have an awesome day today.